remove these uh, raspberries so that I don't get uh, harmed on the way in. Because we're a little late in the year to be cutting these things. You'll see when we're done with this activity, with perhaps a saw, we can completely disconnect this tree and, and hopefully save it. It has some life left in the top. Vines tend to wrap around each other, and this is an example of actually a couple of vines that are wrapped around each other that are, are, have, have died away a little while ago. But they, 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 tend to, they tend to use each other for support. Once you've cut them all off, you can see that, this, that they're exposed and a year or so from now, they'll be able to fall off. The sap starts flowing out of them when, they, when you cut them off. It looks like about 20 rings, so it's in the 20-ish years old. This one may be a little older because it's a little larger. Um, we've seen them up to 30. They seem to uh, grow very, very fast in the last couple of years. is a grapevine, and it may even be native, but you can see water dripping out of it. These plants drip for hours, so it is just consuming all of the liquid that is needed for the survival of these trees. It's my belief that you get a destruction in both by taking away its photosynthesis ability and by removing its, its available water source. 